What's going on YouTube? I'm Brian. And I'm Hannah. We're being a trip tiles. Yep. And in today's video, we are going to show you guys how we're setting up our DIY incubator. Yeah. Um, and to note that in the incubator, because I know we'll probably get some comments about it, um, we did order more heat tape. I know the one piece isn't going to be enough. Um, but we also got a short clip for you guys from Friday night when we got home. Uh, when I got home from work, um, something told me to check on the snakes, and we found out that Nira, our dinker or normal uh, female, um, was in ovulation. So she ovulated. Um, so now we're just going to be waiting for some snakes yeah. or some eggs. Yeah. And um, so other than that, sit back, relax, put your feet up, and enjoy the show. <laughs> Hey guys, real quick, we just just came home from work. Look at that ovulation. I don't know, it's kind of hard for you to see it from here, but she is definitely swelled up right through the middle right there. That is so cool to see. So we have 30 days and counting before we have eggs. That is awesome. Way to go, mama. I'm gonna be a grandma. <laughs> no, <I'm just> <laughs> what was that? I said I'm going to move room. <laughs> <laughs> That's exciting. That's exciting for us. This is our first our first breeding season, our first female to breed. Uh, we're not 100% sure exactly what she is. She could be a normal, but then again, she also has a, a you know, a head stamp that normals don't usually have. Um, and she was bred to our Puma, which is Yellow Belly and Spark. So we could get, you know, some yellow bellies, some sparks, um, and then, you know, we'll see what she is if she proves out to be anything, which would be pretty cool too. Man, that's awesome to see. What's going on YouTube? So like in the beginning of the video, um, we're doing our incubator, setting up our incubator. Um, as you saw earlier, that one of our females, Nira, uh, went through ovulation yesterday. Um, well, Friday, you guys are probably seeing this on Sunday or Monday, but she went through ovulation on Monday. So I wanted to walk you guys through how we wired up our incubator and how we're getting that all set up and ready to go. Got Hannah in there. She's wiring, you know, putting on the uh, aluminum tape for the heat, heat mat or heat tape. Um, so basically what I did, I'm gonna turn you guys around here and show you. Um, I'm probably going to need another strip of heat tape just to be sure, probably run it down each one of the sides just to be on the safe side, just so the thermostat doesn't have to work so hard. Um, basically what I did and what we have here is an old Coca-Cola soda machine and um, so we're turning it into our incubator. And as you guys see, there's some stickers on that side. Got my little helper or our little helper. And so took the drain tube off from up here and ran our wires down through the drain tube. And then I cut the heat mat wires because the electrical connector for the power won't fit down the drain tube. Wired it back up. Got it soldered. I soldered the electrical endings, wrapped them with electrical tape, got them all nice and tight so they won't come apart, won't cause any kind of shorting, nothing like that. Hannah went in with the aluminum tape, taped it down all the way down to the sides and down to the bottom. Um, but this, for having one or two, it should be good. Um, but like I said, I might just put another piece in there just to be on the Our safe wires side. ran down through the tube. I cut the power to the compressor so the compressor won't run because I want the light to, and the fan inside to actually work as well. Got the electrical wires connected to our power connector. Now I gotta get the thermostat. Give me a minute. It'll probably be about five minutes to get the thermostat. It'll probably be about one second for you guys. But uh, we'll get the thermostat hooked up and we'll get it all powered up. Was that fun? Yeah. <laughs> she loves helping me. <laughs> but 
Give me a minute, guys. I'll get the thermostat all hooked up, ready to go, and then uh, be back with you. So what second. I did, so what I did now was, is I ran my thermostat wire, the temp probe, down to the inside. And what I've seen a lot of different people do on their temp probes is making sure they have it in the middle of the incubator, not too high, not too low, because you want the air, you want the air temperature. You want the air temperature that the temp probe is right in the middle to make sure that you know at the bottom it's going to be 89 degrees, the middle is going to be 89 degrees, and at the top is going to be 89 degrees with the air circulating. Now, like I said, I'm going to be using the same fan that the unit comes with. And what it does is it sucks air through the top and then sends it back down through the bottom, which, you know, that's like perfect circulation down through the top and down through the bottom. So like I said was, had the wire ran and then just wire tied up into the middle for now. I'm gonna take the wire ties off and then put zip ties on there. And uh, so that way it'll be neater and uh, it'd be perfect and, and nice and presentable. All right guys, so now that I've got my power hooked up, I'm gonna get, like I said, I'm gonna get this all moved out of the way and get it all nice. I'm gonna go in and my daytime temp is 90. Let's see. 89. Enter accepted. Let's see if I can at least set the time on it. Yep. What time is it, baby? It is 6.42 p.m. We're gonna set it to pulse is what everybody says. So now we got it reading the probe temp. We have it what we want it set at. And the time. And now the time. <laughs> so it's reading 50 degrees inside of the incubator, obviously, because we've had it open and just hooked everything up. So now the time is to, so now we just got to go through, wait, let it run for a while, let it get up to temperature, see how, see how much it runs and see if we can get it up to 89 degrees and uh, we'll see what happens. But that's how we've hooked up our incubator. Sorry that I didn't catch you guys in further. I just got into my mindset of working and getting it done, wanting to get it done. Um, the last thing I want is to have near a drop per eggs and then not be prepared. Um, but we've got this hooked up, got it ready to go. Um, like I said, I may have to put another piece of heat tape in there just to make sure that it's not running so hard. Um, but other than that, that's how we've got our incubator set up and this thing should last us for a while. It should hold a, quite a few clutches. All right guys, so um, hopefully you all got something out educational out of how to hook your incubator up. I will also record again um, when I'm hook, setting up the other two halves of the heat tape. Heat tape. Yeah. Um, but other than that, I think that's a wrap. Yeah. So, oh, and if anybody has like suggestions, if you've built your own or like put together your own incubator, right? we are always open to advice and stuff. So just leave a comment if you have any, you know, suggestions yeah. on things that might help us a little bit with that. Um, but yeah, we just hope you guys, somebody may have gotten something from us doing yeah. this. Hopefully so. it helps you if you decide that you want to build your own incubator. We got lucky when it came to finding that one. Mm -hmm. Um but I'm also very excited that Nira went through her ovulation. Yeah. Like that was cool to see, especially for our first time breeding, our first female to go through ovulation. Um, I know it was cool to me um, and awesome. I'm very excited, but also nervous at the same time. Yeah. Um, so 
we'll have to see what happens. The countdown's on. We're going to keep you guys updated along the way when she um, goes through her prelay shed and, and all that stuff. And then when it comes to pulling the eggs, um, can't wait to go through that. Yeah. So, like, comment, subscribe, and hit, hit that, that notification, notification bell. bell. Also, guys, if you have not yet subscribed to this vlog channel yet, don't know why you wouldn't. I mean, our videos are getting better and better. <laughs> click the link over there if you haven't. And then if you just want to watch one of our latest videos, just click that button right over there and you'll get to one of our videos. So have a great rest of your week. Enjoy.